taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, off top, you stop breathing. This time, though, in plus two with the Showtime one, you know, it seems like now people got their matchmaking hat on. So, because the main event is one Tim Zhu, son of the legendary Costa Zhu, who will be making his U.S. debut against Terrell Gashaw in the main event. And uh, obviously, now if you're a fan of 154, like we all are, one this is a, it's, this is this you is better be damn it. You, you listen to fucking Ring Gang. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're not, like. Get the fuck out of here! Come on. This, this is a banger, though, for sure. This is definitely a banger. Yeah, for sure. And then plus, it, it has meaning too because Tim Zhu is the WBO mandatory, which means he's he's up next. Uh, whoever um, whoever wins between Charlo and Castano too, he's next, next for next, the title shot. Yeah, next month they fight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So it's like yeah, you know. So Tim it took the time. He's like, okay, look, I got to introduce myself to the to the American audience. And what way to do that? Than to fight someone. Who is hard to stop, you know? I mean, he's never he's lost twice. He's only lost to Laura and Lubin. You know, Laura was one sided as fuck. I'm not gonna get into that. That was not a good fight. But he watch. hurt. He hurt both of them. He buzzed both of them. So it's like Goose say you can't sleep on him for the whole fight. He makes his presence known. So right. if Tim Tazu really wants to make a statement. He either stops him or he has no hiccups. Because Laura and Lubin had hiccups against dude. Right, and then Trout couldn't even beat him. And Austin Trout, you know, uh, yeah, it was, I mean. Yeah. That was like a draw, right? Yeah, it was a draw. But, I mean, Goucher is, like, naturally bigger than Trout in his prime. Like, Trout should have won. I mean, Goucher should have won that. Yeah, Goucher should have won that fight. That was Yeah, that was more, that, that's more, that speaks more for Trout than Goucher. <laughs> that that was the one fight they were trying to give Goucher to, to win. And, mm. Yeah, and, and, and Gaucher, and the biggest thing with Terrell Gaucher is the fact that he doesn't let his hands go. Like, it's, it's been the story of his career. Like, he he clearly has some power. Like, when he punches, he he, he hurts people, you know, but he doesn't do it because he doesn't do it consistently enough to get, you know, to get some of these guys out of there. I mean, he is, I mean, he has 11 KOs in, in his 22 wins, like, you know, so, you know, if he catches you early, he'll get rid of you early. And and I know, I mean, he's coming off a knockout win of Jamonte Clark. Uh, that was like last year, I think. <laughs> um, you know, that was, like, he, that was like a first round knockout and shit. Yeah, it was like first or second round knockout. capable, like, just let your hands go. Like, stop trying to be the damn this era's Rocky Warriors. Yeah, like, you know, throw your hands. <laughs> you know, you know and when in just, doubt, punch it out. <laughs> 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 yo, that's big facts, yo. And like, and like, and Tim Zhu, like, if you've seen Tim Zhu, you know, obviously he's not for in America, but if you ever see him on the late night, either on ESPN, yeah, I think it's, it's the ESPN, like, be hosting his Australian fights. Like, Tim Zhu is, yeah, dude, he inherited his dad's power. He he punches hard and, you know, solid in his, solid in his whiskers. Big, you know, he's actually pretty, he's big for a 154 pounder. Like, Dude does his thing. Like, I mean, I, I, I took great pleasure in him beating up Jeff Horn, though. I, that was a, I was like, yeah, that was, that because Jeff Horn, he, you know, he caught an ass whooping in that fight. And then, of course, yeah, he did. So, you know, I, I think probably the only fight I was not impressed with him about was that. It was his last fight. fight. Yeah. The, yeah. Way, the one where they were showing Epo highlights for his opponent. <laughs> yeah. And then that was the one. And we all thought that would be a fight of the year, Kenny, because, because back both of them come to this is one of the rare ones where you had two bangers and they made for a mid fight <laughs> you know so yeah no, we was all in the rig gang twitter chat hype for this shit yeah and then it was just Dumb like ass fucking fight yeah it, it, it was really i was angry i had i woke up at 5 30 for that fight y'all niggas put pilot to sleep <laughs> <laughs> literally <laughs> literally he was, he was hanging too Like that nigga was hanging Now that happened to me Like with the Billy Dib shit man I slept with Australian cards I'd be trying to Watch the main event And put him to sleep and shit yeah, Well it, it, I mean It, it depends you. Like I mean It's it crazy Cause I'll, I'll I'll be good for those fights But it'd be the top Ranked fights That back, that start at 10 That get me Yes <laughs> <laughs> I can see a, a Fucking Japan card Or a card In that damn bars Nigga But Yeah those yeah. 11 o'clock main event Nah it get me 
So for 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 Tim for for Tim Zoo and for Terrell Gashow. So what are we thinking? Uh, P, what about you? What do you think about this fight? How do you think this fight will go? Who do you think will win? P, I got Zoo. Um, and it'll be a. Uh, I think he'll knock him down. I don't think he'll stop him, but I think he'll knock him down and win a decision. Okay. Uh, unanimous decision. Yeah, and like and like I said, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely put respect because, like I said, you know, Gashaw hasn't been knocked out. I mean, hasn't been come close to getting knocked out, really. Uh, Pilot, what about you? Similar to King P, I feel like it's gonna. Um, he might knock him down. He might hurt him. Could very well stop him, but I think uh, Zoo with the unanimous the unanimous decision is a safe bet, and will happen. LB, what about you? Hmm. Uh, you go first. All right. Uh, my th- let's see. What I think is going to happen is I mean I'm at, I'll actually call the knockout. I actually I actually think it will be like a tenth round knockout for Tim Zhu. Uh, I mean, like I said, Gashaw is a hard uh, is a hard guy to break. Like I mean, he's he's incredibly difficult. And I didn't. I do think there will be some knockouts. I think Zhu will probably knock him down maybe early once and then maybe catch him again late. But he might actually put him away. Like by maybe by tenth rounds, like by you by know what, seconds. I fucks with you. I agree with you, but I agree on how the stoppage. I disagree on how the stoppage will be. Well, what do you? What, how, how do you think it will go? He's gonna just let his hands go and go. Say he's gonna cover up, and he's gonna get rocked, and the ref gonna jump in and give an early stoppage. And I can see that too. And I also do think Gashaw will probably rock Zoo at some point in that fight too. It's not gonna be completely one sided. I like, think he'll like, drop Zoo. Yeah. <laughs> the, it'll be it'll be the trade off. Yeah, I, I, you throw yeah. Zoo vulnerable, but he gonna stop you, right? Unless yeah, he does the you know go ahead and stop him shit. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and I can see, I can I can definitely see that too, man. So yeah, I mean, I mean it'll probably uh, to me it'll definitely be a closer fight up to leading up to the stoppage in my in my opinion. And I can definitely see the ref doing an early stoppage. Some of that he'll like, you know, once, you know, like once, you know, Gashaw is trying to get his bearings, and the referee would just pop it, just jump in and wave that shit off. <laughs> oh, or we might, or we might get a war because how often do you see someone really try to beat the shit out of Gushay? We see dudes box Gushay, right? But you know. He hasn't fought somebody. Well, somebody on Twitter, like a credible person on Twitter, said he hasn't fought an urban fighter before. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, Tim Tuzu. That that's true. It's true. He has. I mean, I mean, for other yeah, credible, yeah. there's a credible Twitter guy saying, you know, we'll see how it goes because he hasn't fought an urban fighter and he hasn't. So we'll see. But that's I mean, the thing. is like the he's a different type of urban. Like Gouche is like the urban. He's like, like a if Jamal you're urban Charlo. European. He's like, like a Jamal Charlo. He's more, he's more up and down than slick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but even that, even Charlo got a little urban slickness to him. It's like Gouche. It, it, you're only going to see it on the offense. Yeah. Yeah. Defense, he just he's covers up. And, Defensively, he's going to be hit. Yeah. Like, and he'll just cover up. Like, there's nothing really. Sp- and he's tough as fuck, too. Yeah, right. Good, it's, it's a good test for somebody over the, you know, coming across the pond. Oh, it's a great test for Tim Tazu, and it's a chance for him to make a statement. You right, know, exactly. he's, he's supposed to do what niggas thought Berlanga was supposed to do. Absolutely. And 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 Gouche is three times the fighter Rose is. Yeah, it's facts too, and like I said, I mean nothing n- nothing sets up a fight better than the number one contender bodying somebody or beating someone convincingly, someone who's a ho- who is a na- who's a name in that division. Like who's hard yeah. to stop? Like, so I mean, I mean, I, that's why I look forward to this fight. Like, I mean, you know, Zoo, Zoo, because like, I, I know most people have heard the Zoo stories. Like Tim Zoo, he ain't really all that or whatnot. So, like I said, you know, because you know, sometimes I and mean, we all know the adage: you can, you can do what you want in the national, whatever. But yeah, in America, you got to make it in America. And you know, truthfully, I mean, it's still an adage that still rings true. Yeah, I mean, unless you're Cambosis, then you can make it in America, but then go to Australia and. You know, hold the sport hostage. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know, niggas is having niggas is taking like secret meetings and shit with like governments in order to then get free to fight you when they got their country in war. You know what right. I mean? Like and won't I know fight boxing the, is life, but damn. And won't fight the and won't fight the other champion in their division who's who's patiently winning, who's actually won the fights he's supposed to win. You know, but that's a, for another that's for another time, that's for another rant. Yeah, I, I just had to, you know, throw that out there, you know. Of course. You know, but it's still it's a hell of a main event and the co main is actually pretty damn good too. Facts. You got uh Michelle Rivera, aka the Dominican version of uh Ali, who's patterned himself after Ali. Was it La Zarza Ali, as <laughs> he calls himself? <laughs> Yeah, you know, and and like I said, dude, you know, dude, twenty two and 0, 14 knockouts. Like, dude, this dude himself, you know, I mean, he's still a prospect. I don't, I don't want to call him a contender yet because he ain't really. Nah, he's getting there. Like, he's almost fringe contender. Right, and he's facing someone who's notorious for not, who's notorious not for making weight. You know, Joseph Verdurno. Like, I mean, Joseph Verdurno, he has talent though. But I mean, probably his last time out, dude got into an absolute war. The Jermaine Ortiz, Jermaine Ortiz, fight, Ortiz. Right? yeah, that was a great fight. That's a yeah, fight. that was a, that was an absolute war. Yeah, yeah. Like, and he, and he, it, it, it was a war that most people thought. Did he lose it or did or? See, this this is what makes Rivera a contender if he beats his dude. Yeah, yeah, like or or Dono has skills. He definitely has skills, but he just has he has problems with making weight. Dude's not the most disciplined person in the world. But that Ortiz but gonna fight, fuck the, the yeah, but that Ortiz fight, like, I mean, that shit was fight of the year, like crazy like that shit was like back and forth ebb and flow but like i said you know because you know he got hurt too many times you know like i said even though he dropped ortiz twice but yeah he, that, that draw was probably like the right one but yeah, yeah. that's you know and ordono is probably looking for something to actually get his momentum back because he hasn't won a fight since this is the fight because rivera ain't been tested like that yeah i mean rivera's been down once he, he was definitely down in his career you know once. yeah like he's been tested but not on this level right like this is this is a real good damn uh, co-main. Yeah, no, I, I, and, like, and this is and like because this is what we like. We're like we like to see young prospects get matched up correctly. Like you don't want to keep feeding young prospects like garbage, you know. And yeah, and like, once you, you have twenty-two fights, you you're not really even a prospect anymore. A prospect used to be ten fucking fights. True, but true. now the way boxing is, a motherfucker be pro. Think about it. Like Josh Taylor is like 15, will be 18 a fucking fights. prospect. 15, yeah. 18 fights are still considered prospect these days. Yeah, now, nowadays. But okay, Josh Taylor's a prospect then, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, of course not. It's different. It, it, it's not one size. It's, it's not a one size fits all thing. It's just motherfuckers these days are. Uh, you know, it is kind of of era, though, for the most part, like at least eighty percent. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like Josh Taylor's like super rare right now. It's, it's yeah, how these dudes Charles are moved along. Rare. These dudes are moved along differently. Yeah, like Lomachenko's or Usyk. You know, they oh, yeah, they, like they they lost their prospect tags long ago. I don't think Lomachenko yeah. even really had like, one. Even, <laughs> I'd even say the Charlo brothers were like contenders i think like maybe two three years before they got title shots right like like they competition like people shit on or whatever but early in their career their competition was was good even yeah. even uh malls yeah i can't especially, speak especially. for you know <laughs> yeah yeah it's, well i mean wilder was pretty much probably the only name fight that you could probably say he was impressed within this despite his 30 oh, fight he was still one well, because he was still being moved like one <laughs> yeah <laughs> Jamal Charlo fought better people coming up than he does now. That, that's what I'm saying. Like Jamal Charlo fought people, fought better people coming up than he does now. Like, like dude was like a prospect for like maybe 15 fights. <laughs> <laughs> him, him and Mel. Like, if you remember the showbox fight, remember they was both boxers and shit. Right. <laughs> so, so yeah. So I mean, I, I feel you. I feel what King P saying. Like, but this ever, like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, this era is a little different. It's not, it's not Look, like unless you, me. unless you take the Josh Taylor approach and do this while being in a loaded division, you're probably not going to be a Hall of Famer. Facts. Or oh, unless you fucking you weight hop and you take the best one of the one of the top two people in the division you weight hop in, 
If you if you could do that enough, you probably could get there too. But y'all oh. niggas ain't even doing that enough. <laughs> yeah, also facts. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, that's. I mean, I, I look forward to that. And then the opener. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who, who you who you picking, God? My, my bad. I'm sorry. Oh, no, who, no, who? No I'm gonna go with Rivera for this one because, like I said, Ordono. Like I said, he's talented, but one thing that I can't stand is niggas that be blowing mo- the weight multiple times. That 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 shit that irritates me more than anything. All right, so look, if he makes weight, doesn't blow. He, if he makes weight, looks good, whatever. You'll pick the same. I'll still pick the same. Yeah, Rivera, Rivera. I think Rivera. I just I think Rivera has a higher ceiling. Like I mean, I just think the dude is a little bit more. I mean. He's, he's definitely disciplined right? Like you do doesn't go there Just you know Adorno will war with you A little bit so. yeah, I mean he's more polished Than Adorno for sure Yeah for sure That's what I'm saying So I'm probably I'm, th- I'm probably thinking That Rivera will probably Beat him by KO I'm, th- I'm thinking maybe He might knock him out Yeah you're gonna You say for the KO Like Yeah it, it's, a, it's a 10 round fight So I'm thinking I'm gonna go with Maybe round 7 Oh wow Yo pilot What you think Um I think Ali Rivera, my Michael Ali, Michelle Ali Rivera will win this fight. Um, Adorno has a lot of these weight issues, and you know he got he drew that with Jermaine, Jermaine Ortiz, so he's kind of been playing with fire, and I feel like he'd probably get burnt this this go around. Um, but you, the decision at KO. That's what I'm kind of stuck on. Is it ten rounds, Pat, or eight? Or it's a ten round fight. 10 yeah. Round? yeah. Um, I think he'll. Fuck it. He'll stop him in nine. I'll just say. I think it's more. Yeah. He'll stop nine. Damn. Nine. Wow. Okay. King P. Oh, nigga. Oh, these two guys. Oh, get out of here. Ha 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 ha. Yo, what's up? Um, sorry about that. Um, my bad. He's the um, <laughs> fucking the, the rat attack. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so what was the question again? Uh, uh, who you got for uh, Adorno uh, Rivera for the Coleman? I got Rivera. I got Rivera. <laughs> um, by the, I think by KO. Yes. God dog! Oh y'all niggas think fucking shit. Actually, did you do? See, I, have a board. Like, okay. I also think um, I think Rivera is going to come out to make a statement because he's in line to fight Tank next. So yeah, yeah, yeah. the WBA is going to o- order it. If he wins this fight, they're going to order it and he'll fight Tank next provided Tank beats Raleigh, which he will. But yeah, so yeah. give me that extra little motivation to get this fight. Damn, we mean we need more shake up at damn lightweight. <laughs> it's like I don't like how everything's going now. We need some Yeah, lightweight's kinda s- hit a stall, I feel like, right? Yeah, well, cause it's, it's, niggas it's taking stall. so long to fight each other. Well it's just yeah. it's, it's, it's only at the tiles level where you have like the fuck rate because the you know, niggas don't want to deal with Devin Haney all that much or they want David Haney to get out of the division before they can just really start making moves and then you gotta see Ryan Garcia come back he should go to 140 to be honest but that's different yeah yeah he he should yeah no so yeah it it, 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 won't but 135 I mean 135 still has has and has incredible young talent they just, you know, just, I mean, like I said, but they do. It's like, you got to make those fights next, though. Yeah, they got to make these fights if they need to. So, I mean, that's why it's just like, you know, that's why I like seeing a Rivera and Ordona fight being being made because it's like, yo, separation, yeah. you know, like, you know. Yeah. Like, well, and they got Ortiz in the tuck, Frank Martin, you know what I'm saying? They can still around Robin. Yeah, right? Frank Martin, especially. Frank Martin, yeah. The yeah. PBC yeah. has a lot of talent at lightweight, but they, you, but they keep putting them in garbage fights like, like you know, Isak Cruz and fucking... Tank and Rolly. <laughs> yeah, kidding. Tank and Rolly, shit like that, you know. Because they look, man, the Tank and Rolly, look, do, do y'all not remember the fucking footage King P got? People still want to see that fight. Yeah, that yeah, fight yeah, yeah they got, I, I know, I know, but it's, it's one of those things. But this is supposed to be Cobbs, uh, the Cobbs and um, Rocha fight is how pretty much Tank and Rolly's going to end up. Like, that's you just that's how that fight, except a little more brutal, a little more brutal, a little bit more brutal, a little more brutal than that. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes, I mean, sir. what are you gonna do? He gonna uppercut this nigga into the stands? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he might, like I said, because like I mean, because I mean, I basically I saw what I take a role. I basically saw, you know, last night with with, with Cobbs and Rocha. Like that, that's that's that's, that's low, low, low key that, that y'all all the subs and I, I feel like that does have the same dynamic. <laughs> yeah, you know, but uh, yeah, I mean, but yeah, one thirty five, like one thirty five, just needs. To have like when you have fights although like Cobbs is better than Roley though I'll say that like yeah he is like I, honestly if 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 Roley fought like Cobbs and he was fighting Tank that'd be a damn good fight like <laughs> but, but I don't Roley, know what we're gonna get like <laughs> yeah but except you know Roley has you know has one of them um quote unquote retard chins you know so it's like you know he's he's hard to buzz you know so you know whereas Cobbs never had that type of Reputation, like he got her. Yeah. You know, you know, Roley, you know, has not, to my knowledge. But who, who, who been throwing bricks at Roley like that, though? He ain't been fighting no big punchers, though. Yeah. At least Rosa, at least Rosa could hit, and I know Cobb's fought some people who were at least decent punchers. Yeah, I mean, Roley's just known for just getting out boxed. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Yeah, <laughs> and, and being some hard puncher, like. Yeah, but it's just like one thirty five just <laughs> Right. But yeah, one thirty one thirty five is just a division like the fighters, the talent is there. They just need to be put in more significant fights other than, you know, and then more less bullshit, more significant fights so to, to move the division forward to cause some more separation. So that's why like yeah. I said Rivera Ordorno is a step in the right direction uh for that. And then of course we have No nah, Rivera Hopefully. by decision though, fuck that. I don't think he's gonna get a KO. <laughs> like, hey, I if, mean, he hey. get, if he get it, mad props if he do that'd be great but I just don't see you know I don't think he got the temperament to push for the KO like that unless he clips him hey you know I mean anything can happen in boxing you know like I mean like I mean if it happened I mean well at least you got at least now you got you, you got your one fight where you can have a different opinion than us three. <laughs> I mean, we all picking that same. Like, this would be the fight where a motherfucker have a draw, and then we all look crazy. Right, <laughs> right. I'd be like, well, at least I said it would go to this. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! And then, like I said, we have the opener. I mean, we have Elvis Rod- Elvis Rodriguez of you know former top rank fame. You know, who's trying to make you know uh, inroads yeah. in this new promotion. Yeah. Against former victim, uh, former Barrios and Progress victim uh, Juan Jose Velasco, you know, and like Ooh. I said, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's a decent as an opener, but it's like one of those fights where it's like it's, it's set up for Elvis to not do it out, pretty much. Yeah, um, yeah. They, they should try to match. I think Sims is with PBC as well. Maybe they should try to make that happen again. <laughs> they should try to make it happen again. <laughs> I don't think they will. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're trying to give Elvis a little, you know, little buzz, get him some KOs because he looked good his last fight too. He did, yeah, he did, he did. Yeah, yeah. You know. And Ortiz is there too. You can make a Dorno Ortiz eventually. Yeah, one thirty five just got it's just, you know, a lot of talent there. Yeah, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't think they need, I think they probably do need to keep Rodriguez away from Keith Sims, Kenny up from from Kenneth Sims for a while because yeah. Kenneth Sims is a different. I think they should eventually rematch, though. Like they will, but they, he he's gonna you know he's gonna level up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He gotta go. He gotta go along this path, and he's gonna eventually like after this fight, you're gonna have to match Rodriguez with some real fighters. Exactly. Like this is cool, you know. C- couple two get his three name fights, yeah. Couple, yeah. Couple yeah. Couple keep him active, though. He need to fight two more times. Yeah, because like I said, because. You know, Rodriguez is that super lightweight. You know, we all know 140 is not a division to, f- division to fuck around with, especially at the PBC side. So if he wants to make any type of inroads, yeah, they got to they gotta match him right so he doesn't get... I see what PBC doing. They, they, it's like they're going to make all these young guys active so they could be kind of known and make them viable contenders for each other by fighting fighting each other. And I think they're just gonna have Tank just feast off these guys. Eventually, yeah. Yeah, like, and you know, they should have kind of did that with Roly, but I guess they said fuck it with his following. But right. just saying, 
you know what we're gonna do that with Rivera and we're gonna do that with um anybody else so I, say, I, I, I give them props for that you know it's something Right, exactly. You know, so at least like the opener. I mean, it's. I mean, it, as I mean, a fight like that. I mean, as long as it's not a co-main or actual main event, you know, like yeah. I, mean, I can't. I can't just, yeah, there's, I can, there's nothing about that fight I can hate. Like I mean, it, it, the fight is cool with me. So it's, if you want to put in the opener, more power. Just don't make that shit go no ten rounds though. Like yo, impress people, please. Like, yeah, Elvis Rodriguez. Yeah, if he goes ten rounds with Velasco, I'm gonna be like, it better be a fucking war. Yeah, like. <laughs> Vlasco, yeah, but for, for at least you knock him down like four times. Like you try to put him away, but Vlasco is just like, yeah. you know what? I'm just, I'm gonna stay on this. I'm gonna stay on my feet. Like ain't, ain't no, ain't no early nights, bro. You're gonna, you gotta work for this win. I mean, <laughs> you, you could drop him four times and he could come back and be competitive, but he can't come back and be outboxing you either. Now. Right, and then, that, and that's the big thing with Rodriguez. I mean, that's the whole reason why he lost to Kenneth Sims the way he did, because Kenneth Sims was able to box his head off. So I ain't trying to see no. 98, 97 score and fucking four <laughs> knockdowns. Like, you better get the facts. fuck out of here. Like, this supposed to be your showcase. So, yo, yo, straight facts. So yo. fucking case, nigga. Yo, absolute facts, yo. And like I said, man, Velasco, like I said, I mean, he's known for just losing to program virus by KO. So it's like, yeah, like, do something. Like, make sure that if you, you know, He's there. He's there to be hit. But yeah, if Rodriguez struggles with this dude, then PBC was gonna have to dial his shit all the way the fuck back. <laughs> it's like you just fucked up the plans. And it's like, yeah, we, we were trying. We were trying to put you in the ring with Matias or 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 one forty Gary Russell. What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. But yeah, I mean, the, the, overall, it's a good card on paper, man. We like I said, you know, and hopefully, like I said, this next coming coming weekend fight should be. You know, like I say, it should be more entertaining for sure. You know, and uh, just a just a brief mention, Top Rank also has one with Miguel Bichelle and Jeremiah Nakatia fighting. I mean, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna preview that all that much because, like I said, you know, Bichelle's coming off a brutal ass KO and Nakatia's coming off a negative ass performance against Shakur Stevenson. So, like, yeah, like when we like neither, yeah, neither one of them were <laughs> neither one of them performed to the point where it's like, yeah, a preview is really worth it. But it's good to mention it. That they actually they're fighting, so yeah, because people might be like, "Man, y'all bullying them, like y'all picking on them." Like, nah, we'll we'll just have that little fight. They'll have their little comeback fight, and yeah, we'll talk about it afterwards. Also, yeah, we'll like, judge it from there. Okay? Like, you know, if it's if if it's noteworthy, we'll talk we'll talk about it from there. But um, uh, but yeah, other than that, I think that is pretty much about it for tonight, man. You know, so we yeah, go straight into some final thoughts. Um, King P, final thoughts. It's Ring Gang Radio all day. You already know what it is. All, all day, every day, twice on Sundays. All day, every day, twice on Sundays. You already know what it is. So, you know where to find us at. Ringgangradio.com. Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. You already know what the fuck it is. Absolutely, man. And, uh, Pilot, what about you, bruh? Pilot? It ain't nothing but a ring gang thing. You know what it is. RGR, ringing radio all day, every day, like P said. Every platform imaginable. Ringingradio.com, worldwide, east to coast, west to west, and hey. all across the globe. You know what it is, family. There we go, man. That's what it's all about. And I'll go first. I'll let LB, you know, uh, finish, up, uh, finish up the final thoughts. Um, but yeah, like I said, just like they said, man, you know, ring gangs forever, man. So yeah, follow us up on our YouTube, our webpage, IG, Podomatic, Spotify, uh, Google, Apple Podcasts, especially, like we see, uh, I know, well, TikTok. TikTok, especially, you know what I'm saying? Like we, like we're everywhere, Facebook, man. Everywhere. Yeah, you know, just, you know, all I have to do is just, you know, just put ring gang radio in the Google and I'll take you to where you need to be. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, definitely, you know, we definitely got some stuff coming down the pipeline, you know, Forgotten Fade and, you know, and a spinoff. I know, you know, P, you know, wants to do, you know, do a pie, we'll probably do a spinoff show sometime, like sometime this week, you know, some some other stuff. Um, 
But yeah, man, definitely stay tuned, man, because uh, we out here, man. Like I said, just tell your friends about us so their friends can sub and they can listen to the content and they can be friends and then they and we can all be friends, man. So they can sub and, you know, like I said, it's just a cycle, man. Just tell, you know, spread the word, man. Ring Gang Radio has the shit that you want and need, man. And we out here. And of course, you're feeling generous and you want to influence some other stuff that we talk about. You know, obviously, you know, we have a Patreon and all the other stuff, man. So, you know, it's on the website. Get the, get them likes up. Get the likes up, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know. Drop, drop a donation or on on the site. Yes, sir. <laughs> but yeah, and um yeah, and that's pretty much it for me. Uh LB man, you know, take us away. Oh nah, I mean y'all said uh, everything y'all could say. Um shout out to the rest of the squad, um Rome Top Five, Clan Arky, RTDZ, um the pilot, the fight architect. PJ, the fight architect, nigga. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I, can, uh, I can actually take the fight if I need to be. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, it's a long day, my nigga. Um, bless up in it. <clears throat> Boy. Uh, yeah, uh, PJ, the fight arithmetic. I mean, the fight architect. <laughs> Yo, this nigga, yo, you, you, you been sipping on the LSD juice with Pilot, nigga? <laughs> nah, nah, nigga, nigga said this LSG. <laughs> <laughs> nah, PJ the fight architect, and um, that was it, right? Yeah, but prolific, yeah. Shout out to prolific, cause he at Ring Gang TV. Y'all see him on Twitter, and Ring Gang TV. I yes, follow sir. him. I'm gonna be posting up some uh, new clips for the cartoon. He sent me some shit. He always sent me some shit on the weekend. Uh, we still working on it. Just a lot of shit going on in my life where I'm real super busy. Yeah, and I haven't got a chance to um do uh, finish a couple voices right now for the uh the animated cartoon because it's going to be like maybe 25 minutes long it's real dope intros done i'll probably post up the intro soon yes sir and and some more clips but other than that this should look amazing um we fighting in the air and make sure you follow ring gang or shutterworth or soul wars everybody else so you know because when we put it up we'll share it so y'all see it See, see, see the fly shit we doing. You know, it's bigger than the podcast. And shout out to everybody in the comments. Uh, yeah, everybody Rusty, tuning in, Rusty, Joshua, Joshua O, o Hayes, any, any guy. Yeah, you know what it do, man. Uh, and we'll try to bring uh, um some more hip hop topics uh, later on. Definitely, because you know, I, I I I know people love you know our you know the retro reviews that we gave and then. You know the the you know comparing debuts like say because like I said you know there's a lot of magic when we start talking about hip hop because more often than not we have a lot of disagreements between in music than we do in boxing a lot more <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and it's like different eras and ages and regions, regions it's, yeah it's more of a blend different preferences and, different preferences you know yeah preferences, preferences. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're boxing is more of a blend we're all like just real hardcore boxing fans and we're all sensible no you know you know yeah. yeah we are but when it comes to this music yeah we we have some very wild opinions you know might wild to you know depend on who who's actually listening to them <laughs> <laughs> oh hold on hold on wait 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 hold on real quick top rank has been trying to match up i think yeah our Bar- are with sims but arnold's waiting to see for the lopez fight at 140 they're saying Lopez Perros is for that for the vacant belt, but yeah, I, I do hear Barboza and. I mean, yeah, shit. I think he's the favorite in both fights. Yeah, <laughs> facts. You know, but but Sims will uh, uh, Sims can will, can has the ability to give Barboza some trouble though. But I think Arnold. Yeah. Like, yeah, Barboza's probably waiting to see like you know the Lopez fight for more, like Lopez could give him trouble, but they'll be worth it more. Right. Oh man, but yeah, no, yeah. Well, I mean, either way, either fight will we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. be cool with like whatever Barbosa. I watch him for sure, man. Uh, well, yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, I mean, he came with the last minute <laughs> for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, all good, though. Yeah, for myself, you know, Pat Scorpion, the representative, you know, for LB Shadow with the God, the Goat artist, 
for uh, King P Bodega P and for Conscious Pilot. You know, this has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk, where as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. So until next time, peace.